Hello, my fruity friends. How are you today? I am happy. A little bit hungry though, but I really wanted to make this video because I'm, I'm feeling really inspired and happy and joyful and laugh, laughing and just really connected to myself again because I was teaching a laughter yoga session just now and I came from there. I'm gonna go to the shop, buy some bananas and some healthy food and really feeling very vibrant and happy. But what I wanted to share with you in this video was uh, in this session we had today, there was a lot of good shares, like a lot of good shares. It's always a sign of a good session when people are willing to share a lot and a lot of good con connections we made and, and people were opening up and going to their uncomfort zone and, and yeah, it was good. Lots of dancing and lots of movement and lots of laughter and lots of joy. Um, but people were sharing that about their resistance, how they had resistance before and how, how they had like a fear or like some yeah, some, some ideas about laughter yoga that, that they were like afraid of doing it and like feeling un, like intimidated and <clears throat> a little bit like, what do you call it? I don't know the word in English, he was all in it. And, and it was re very good to share because that's very natural for people to have resistance over something that, that's new or something that involves like doing something different or something that you don't really know yeah maybe that's the reason why you have resistance if you go somewhere new somewhere somewhere you don't know and I can definitely relate to that because that's why I love teaching and love leading laughter yoga sessions because I never know what's ha gonna happen because it always it's always about the group and that is what makes the session creates the, se the session the, the group and the people and the individuals and the energy that comes from it of course I can control a lot of it by taking exercises, practices that, that will lead the session into a certain type of, of a state. But, but there's also always like the, the not knowing what is going to happen. And I, always, I had a, like a plan, what we're going to do, and what practices we're going to do, but it's changed, it, it's changed because, I, because I felt like I, wanna do, I wanted to do something different with these people than what I was prepared for. I, we did some exercises that we, I had planned, but it always happens like that. But I get into the flow and then I want to do something different and, and we just do it and it was very good and and having that resistance is like for me like leading a laughter yoga workshop is also like I have resistance and I am nervous about it usually but it's still something that I enjoy a lot because it always stretches me it always stretches me to to my uncomfort zone so it's very natural to have resistance and I always for myself I think that it's a, it's it's such an empowering thing to do to go towards those resistances to stretch yourself. If you have resistance, you should go to that resistance. You should go towards that resistance because it's gonna make you grow. It's gonna make you grow. And it's gonna make you feel alive because when you're going into your uncomfort zone, you will feel alive. <laughs> That's where the life begins, in the at the end of your comfort zone. Yeah, and that's something that, oh, I felt like alive today in the session. It was so good. And also something that I shared in the session uh, was my my own experience because I've been teaching, leading laughter yoga sessions now for three years, three years. Uh, and I have, I've had some breaks during the three years when I didn't practice, when I didn't lead or teach. But now I have been doing it a lot lately, like during the summer and during the spring and a lot of sessions, lots of like in different, environment with different people and also like like just teaching yoga a lot more than I used to <clears throat> in uh, and the groups are always different there's always different people always always different situation and it's something that I enjoy a lot uh, I love the variety but I feel like after now that I've been doing this for three years I've, I've like it has taken me a long time to get in, get in touch with with the little bit like the darker side of me or like like into this this sadness or these wounds I've been coming more aware of these these wounds and these this like hurt inside me and uh, somehow doing the laughter yoga opens me up in a way that uh, it, it, it kind of like, like seduces the inner child to play when before it might have been very afraid, not wanting to show up, not wanting to, uh, to, to 
just be there. Like we all have this inner child in in in, in of us in inside of us that wants to play and wants to laugh and wants to cry and wants to wants to show their sorrow and wounds and happiness and everything, everything that you are. It's kind of like we have built these blocks and walls outside of us like to protect this inner child because it has probably gotten some experiences in the past that it has not been so well or felt secure or safe and so taking those steps to let it out and really let it play and have fun and and show her that it's safe to do it that I am strong I am uh, secure you can do this you can show yourself you can express yourself and not be afraid of what other people think or being judged or or anything like that and also like the darker side of it like well, like a lot of times or a long time I did I didn't really realize that I have had this, these wounds or or that darker side of me or like fear of abandonment codependency and all my issues <laughs> that are now coming out and I'm becoming more aware and and that's a very good thing because because now I'm able to to start processing them and growing even more to becoming an even better version of myself and just sharing more of that with people um, like getting in touch with this sadness and this sorrow and this darker side of me have enabled me to to get in touch with this like that, that I, I have so much tears which I want to cry out and, and lately like this summer I have cried a lot and it's so good it's scary yeah and it's, it's it doesn't feel that good in the in the moment but it doesn't last that long when I get into the state that I want to cry and I feel all these negative feelings and and then I just feel like crying and really crying my heart out but afterwards I feel so good I feel so purified and so detoxed and like like empty somehow empty and then I'm able to take in all the good stuff so it's kind of like people people are afraid to express their their sadness or negativity but if you don't express them then they're gonna be inside of you until until something happens and it can, it can even become like a physical illness or whatever but I just I just want to be free I just want to be free so free to express also also that side of me and all sides of me so I'm so happy that I've gotten in touch with this sadness and this sorrow and just the freedom of it that's a huge thing that I've accomplished during these three years because I've I've noticed that I, I do have that inside of me but I haven't gotten like in touch with it like I've, I've tried to go into workshops or or trainings that would like open this knot inside me which would reveal all that and so that it would be revealed and expressed and out of me and now I've gotten there and it hasn't it hasn't been any anything any of those workshops or anything it's more relationship related and and also like laughter yoga related so when I'm if I'm able to laugh and open up my heart then I'm able to cry also yeah, that's a huge thing. I'm so, I'm so happy about that. I'm so happy that I can cry, that I can express. But I'm tapping myself into that too, because it's part of life. Um, three years, <laughs> three years of doing laughter yoga. And I've been really active with it now since like January or something, like over half, half a year and doing it a lot, like laughing a lot and teaching a lot, leading a lot. And by doing that, what it has done for me is that I, it has become like a habit for me to feel happy, to be happy. So everything that we do, all the exercises, all the, all the, all the clapping and all the shouting and everything like energizing, it's, it's, like, it's like my constant state now because it has become like a habit for me. It, it has become part of me. It, it's like a lifestyle. It doesn't really ever go away. And it's quite easy for me when I get up from bed, if I don't feel like superb, then I just start laughing or bring my hands up, put some good music and dance, drink my water, and then I feel amazing. If I just, if I just like do that 
and it, it brings me to this state again because I've been doing it for so long and and uh, but it's not like I wake up happy <laughs> like I'm happy I'm happy no I might when I wake up I might be feeling like I have like nothing to do and nobody cares about me I can I feel really depressed but then it's it's kind of like the exercise that we've done together that has empowered me to take those exercises into my routine and really like empower me and also like just in life life has become so much easier not so serious and even with the sadness and with the sorrow and with the dark side it's I think it has enabled me to get in touch with that because I don't take it so seriously and I can let it go faster I can tap into that and I can let it go faster yeah and it's it's a it's a good thing it's a good thing you really should do laughter yoga you really should you really everyone should do laughter yoga like every day for, for like an hour just tuning themselves into joy into happiness into laughter into love opening up their hearts i think so I think that the world would be so much better place if everyone would just express their feelings, express their love, express their sadness, express their joy. Just being happy and carefree and not worry so much. Not worry so much about life. Life is what it is. And it can be so much so much joyful and jo so much more happy and so much more lively and so much more nice activities and energy energy and like love and connection and romance and sex and everything that you would want in your life abundance everything anything everything now i have to quit because it's so long already the video and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching